Hello. Um. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in a. Uh, this is my attire in the summertime. Usually pajamas. I just wear pajamas is what I wear to work. Um. You know, basically my dress. Uh, in the summertime. Um. I don't. I don't. I, I don't like wearing clothes. I don't like sweating. Having sweaty shirts stuck to me. Um. You know, and it's hot out today. It's it's beautiful outside. Um, it's like 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and the sunshine, and it's a little bit humid. Um, well, it's pretty humid. It's, it's sticky out there right now. Um, but it's beautiful. Birds are singing. Uh, I just took my kitty out in the yard. I just sat out there and listened to birds for a little bit. Um... Watched him try to hunt. Um, he didn't get anything, but he tries. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I was, I was kind of thinking this morning. I was thinking about how nice it is to not give a shit. Um, I think I was thirty-one, or thirty-two when um. I got rid of the last of that, like I, I something snapped, um, it, it was kind of, um, I, it was like a, a spiritual awakening, um, Kaylin calls it a, a Gnostic experience, same thing, same difference, um, I kind of felt like I found God or something, um, even though I'm, you know, I'm an atheist, but like, the feeling, I, I, I dig the, um, the concepts and the, and the ideas behind it, uh, you know, it's storytelling and the way you tell a story to, you know, um, you know, to teach people uh, your ideas to, to, you know, express the ideas behind it. Um, so in that way, like I, I've always enjoyed um, some parts of, uh, you know, religion or, or just uh, thoughts on God, um, but, yeah, I, I just, but anyhow, yeah, I, I, um, I don't know what it was, or something snapped, um, I think I was shooting bath salts at the time or something, and I, I didn't like what it, like, where it was going, because it was really, um, it was really addictive, like, I really liked it, and, um, you know, it, it, it did, some weird shit to other people, um, but I was at the kind of brain that, that handled stuff like that well, um, so it didn't do that to me, but, like, I didn't like what I saw, and, and like, I felt like I was, you know, just doomed, um, it was, like, spreading evil everywhere, like, you know, and you see what it's doing to people, um, you know, and they just keep coming back for more, and, um, you know, uh, saying that, anyhow, I stopped right away, like, I just, it, um, I didn't do anything, I didn't get high on anything, um, but something had snapped in my head, and for, like, a month, I, um, I felt like I was high on something, even though I, I didn't do anything, I didn't drink alcohol or nothing, um, you know, I just smoked cigarettes, um, I was the only, you know, cigarettes and, like, caffeine, you know, drinking Pepsi or something, uh, that was all I was doing, but I, I still felt, like, really high, and I went out and, um, you know, like, my hair would stand on end when, uh, when it would rain, and, uh, you know, my, I could feel the tingling in my head and everything, I was just, like, super hypersensitive, um, for a long time, and I had all these racing thoughts, um, like, intelligent thoughts, um, in a lot of lucid dreaming, um, but yeah, I, you know, some of them were, um, more artistically minded thoughts, and then some were more just figuring things out, um, I remember somebody calling me a psycho, <laughs> um, because I was talking to him about, um, well, it turns out that it's, uh, it's called constructal theory, um, I didn't know that at the time, um, 
it was just something that popped into my head. I was like, oh, there's something to this. And um, and then later on, I read about it, like that it's actually proposed theory of physics. Um, but yeah, I, I remember someone called me a psycho for talking about that. Like I hear, heard him talking behind my back. Um, and uh, it was weird. I, I just, but like, I, I never cared. Like I don't, like you know, my feelings aren't hurt about that. Like I don't. I really don't care what people think of me. Like I, you know, I hope I hope they like me. It's it, it is nice when you know, um, making friends and having people enjoy who you are. Um, that is the best stuff. But like, at the same time, like I, I don't worry about impressing anyone or, um, nothing like that. Like I don't feel loneliness anymore. Um. No kind of urge to, to go out and, you know, uh, find something. Although, recently I discovered that, you know, more art people, artistic people, I was what, what I was missing in life. Um, so I, I kind of go out fishing for, you know, like-minded people. Because, um, you know, people that do music and art and, you know, write uh poetry and and um anything anything like that the whole realm um painting like sketching uh, you know it's all like really nice people um people that have like the uh the vision i suppose um so i can always appreciate that um and it, it turns out like more than more than anything like the those kind of people are the nicest um, sort of people. Um, but anyhow, I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope it's nice wherever you're at. <clears throat> or you're able to enjoy it anyhow. Um, you know, if it's gloomy or whatever. Um, you know, happy Memorial Day, um, people in America. Um, yeah, happy holiday, whatever. All right, <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna play.
right. <clears throat> All right. I hope everyone's having a good day.